am Thibaut and this is going to be my coming out story. I am doing this video um, because years ago when I was still in the closet I used to watch every video I could find on YouTube about coming out story and this was just to give me the strength um, to do it myself and it helped me a lot so I feel like now it's my time to um, create content for some people out there that need the same courage I needed. So let's get started, shall we? So before we start, I'd like to apologize for the poor production value of this video and for the awkwardness that's going to be coming from me. Um, I'm just a very awkward person and you only have to deal with this for a few minutes. I deal with this my whole life, so yeah, that's the thing. Okay, I guess I'll start from when I actually knew I was gay. Um, when I was very little, I knew I was different. Like when I was five, six, I understood I just wasn't like other boys. I was hanging out with girls um, and I don't know, I just didn't seem like I was fitting in with, with other guys. Um, so I didn't know what it was, but I knew there was something. And I actually found a diary I had when I was little, a pink diary, and I didn't know. <laughs> um, where I was saying that I like, I loved this girl because she has blonde hair like I do, because I used to have very blonde hair when I was a kid. Um, but I also was in love with that other girl because she ran very fast and I ran very fast and I loved her for that. Um, boy, was I wrong. Um, but both of those girls um, ended up becoming very close friends to me, even to this day. So I guess I did love them in some different way. Um, it's not before I turned 11, 12, that I knew what gay was and that I was gay. Um, but it wasn't, like, it was just a thought that was coming in and out. I wasn't really like, thinking about this on a daily basis, it would just like pop up some days and I'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm gay. Um, but I had other stuff to deal with and, you know, life was going on, so I was like, this is a problem for <laughs> another day. Um, problem. Um, so yeah, I didn't really think too much about it for a while. Um, and it's until it became like more of a daily thought and um, I remember going to bed and every night for a few months thinking like, oh, I'm going to have a wife and I'm going to have kids and other people may be, must be closeted and live the life like this. Um, I'm sure they find some happiness in their life. Um, so if they can do it, I can do it. This is a very sad thought to have. Because um, I didn't grow up with like... Um, gay representation in the media or like gay people around uh, in my family or uh, in my group of friends or like fam family friends etc. So for me it was something very foreign and um, strange that I should not um, entertain basically. So it was just not an option for a while um, in my head. Until you know you go to high school, you grow older, people talk more about sexuality and everyone's discovering themselves so you feel a bit less alone um, and my friends were very like um, chill about the whole thing some people came out and they were fine with this so it really definitely gave me confidence um, to do it myself so the first time I ever told someone was a very drunk evening uh, with three of my very very close friends um, so after a few bottles of wines, um, one of our friends came to me and told me a secret she wanted to share with me about her personal life. And we became very emotional about it. Um, so the two of us were like a bit further away from the, our two other friends. Um, and I got caught up on the moment um, and told her that I was gay. And we became even more emotional, we cried a lot um, and by the time we came back to our friends 
um, we were still sobbing and they were asking what's what's happening. So I just told them as well. The reaction was great. They were very supportive and asked me how I was dealing with this in the past and um, that everything was going to be fine. Nothing's changed. Uh, they're happy. I did it, etc. So yeah, no, that was a great first experience. Okay, just to be clear, I don't recommend anyone to come out drunk because you never know um, how people are going to react when they're drunk. Everyone has a different reaction to alcohol. Um, and second, if you're not comfortable doing it when you're sober, it, it means that you're just not comfortable doing it at all. And alcohol shouldn't be the thing that makes you come out. But for me, it just happened and it, it worked out great. So I'm very lucky. Um, after I told the other few friends, um, and you know how it goes in high school, like news goes fast. So I didn't actually come out to a lot of people. Everyone just ended up knowing, which was perfect for me because I don't, at the time it was like a very serious personal subject. I was um, not ashamed of, but like, um, you know, worried about the reaction of people. So I was, it was a heavy subject for me to, to talk about. So I was thankful that the news just spread <laughs> to some extent. Um, then I woke up one day thinking, okay, today is the day I'm going to tell my parents. Um, like this was going to be the day. It was a Sunday and I was um, flying to London um, the Tuesday to meet a guy I was seeing. And they just thought I was going on vacation with friends. Um, I don't recommend lying to your parents as well, especially going abroad with a guy uh, you've only met a few times. Um, but I told friends where I was going and I was safe. But yeah, be safe. Um, there's a lot of creepy people out there, so just be safe. Um, so yeah, I woke up that Sunday morning thinking, this is the day. Um, it was a very sunny um, summer day. We were in the pool all afternoon. And by that time, I told myself, the next time you're going to open your mouth is to tell them that you're gay. And what ended up happening is I didn't open my mouth the whole afternoon. <laughs> my mom even asked me if I was okay because I was extremely quiet. Um, so I just thought, yeah, I'm fine, <laughs> as you do. And then friends of them arrived and we had dinner together, so it just wasn't an option. Um, so I was very bummed, and I was uh, stressed all day with that big feeling, heavy feeling in my stomach for nothing. Um, so yeah, I was very bummed by the evening that I didn't do it. Um, so the next day, Monday evening, before flying the next day, um, I went to the bedroom before going to bed, and I sat next to them, which I never do. Um, so like, what's, what's happening? <laughs> and I told them, um, you know, tomorrow I'm going abroad with my friends. I'm actually meeting one guy that I've been seeing for a while, um, and he's my boyfriend. Um, and my mom was like, oh, it's fine. Uh, we love you. Uh, like she was very quick to respond. And my dad was like, that's, that's fine. And that was it. Then I left um, to meet a few friends for drinks. Um, but it was very quick. I don't remember the details of it because I think I was under a lot of stress and I was panicking a bit, so I don't know. I think my memory is just a bit blacked out. But it went okay, it went well. Um, and I remember driving to my friends um, that evening after I told them. And I was crying in the car so hard I had to pull over. Um, and I just, I just felt so free, you know. I just felt so much lighter, like physically lighter. Uh, so that was a great, great feeling. I don't regret taking the time I needed to come out to them because I did it in the right time when I was comfortable doing it. So that was a good, good experience. Um, if I could give one piece of advice um, to people that are thinking of coming out or are in the process of coming out, um, that would be to give time to people. You know, between the time I actually knew I was gay 
and the time I accepted it enough to tell it to my closest friends, it took me years, like six, six, seven years. So if people you come out to don't react the way you expected them to, um, just give them time. You know, it's new for them as well, like it was new for you years ago. Because I remember my parents made a few comments after I came out that I wasn't really happy about. Like, oh, like, we're fine with you being gay, but don't be too public about it. Like, don't really avoid being seen, seeing a guy if it's not the guy you're going to marry, or don't introduce us to guys if um, that's not the one you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Which didn't seem fair, because, like, my brother introduced a few girlfriends to them. Um, so I was like, why? Why is that fair? Um, but like looking back, they were just adapting to it and right now they're all fine and it's all um, sorted and they just didn't know what was okay or not at the time and they just got educated and uh, we had discussions. So yeah, it's a lot better now. Um, yeah, just give time to people, you know, it's not, um, it can be, it can be big news to anyone. So just give time to people. Um, and also, this is my coming out story as I define it, because that's when I came out to my closest friends and my family, but coming out never ends. If you start a new job or if you move to somewhere new, you just constantly have to come out. And the way you do it is very personal. You can decide that they need to know right away. You can decide that if it just pops up in the conversation, you will um, tell, tell, tell them. If you don't feel comfortable um, telling your orientation at work, that's totally fine as well. No one is owed to know this personal aspect of your life if you don't feel like they should. So, yeah, do it in your own terms and everything's gonna be fine. It's very cliche, but everything do get better. Because I remember when I was going to bed thinking about the wife I was going to get and the kids I was going to get to get that perfect fake life, um, happiness just didn't seem like an option at the time. And it seemed like I was going to have this uh, sad life forever. And looking back on it now, it just feels silly how dark I um, envisioned my life to be when I'm in this place in my life right now, where I'm so happy surrounded by people that love me, um, doing what I love. So it does get better. It's cliche, but even if it doesn't seem like it did, it does, it does get better. So get comfortable with who you are before putting this person out there in the world um, and be safe. Um, if you feel like your parents might react in a way that's not ideal. Tell a, gr a good group of friends um, and make sure they're here to support you if your parents need time. Um, and this is a great big community, um, a loving community after all the drama, etc. It's just, um, it's always going to be support in any situation. So use it as well. Um, so that was it, guys, for my coming out story. Um, I feel like it's a never-ending story as I told, so maybe in 10 years I'll have funny coming out stories to add to this. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I am deciding to try YouTube. So I am thinking of doing a Q&A next week um, to properly introduce myself to the World Wide Web. So if you have any questions you'd like to ask me, just leave it in the comment section um, and I'll answer questions from YouTube and Instagram next week, hopefully. Um, and in the meantime, have a great day and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.